I'm Graham Kirkpatrick. I'm a pre-sales technical solutions architect for NEC Display Solutions UK. I'm just going to spend the next couple of minutes talking you through the NEC booth here at ISC 2020. So we're starting in our forum space and we've deliberately chosen this space because it gives us the ability to showcase three new technologies that, that we've had in the show this year. So just on the st above the stand, as we come into the stand, is our new BT421 protective glass display. Great for open area digital signage solutions. With a protective glass as well, it gives the ability to have it in rigorous and rugged environments as well. So particularly focusing on transportation, airport display information systems. As I move through the stand, this is our brand new 0.95 millimeter fine pitch advanced LED solution. So we have here a 165 inch UHD display in a six by six module solution. We have a good theme of LED through our stand this year with uh, uh, our 3.9 mil outdoor also being launched at the show for the very first time. As I continue through the stand, we have our ever present and flagship V984Q 98 inch display. Uh, this product is also available as a C series with a slightly lower brightness and comes with customization for protective glass and also as touch. One of my favorite products that we have that's launched new this year is uh, our new ME series display. And for us, this is uh, two stories. First of all, it's our next generation of panel and display. So we will launch in August of this year, the ME range. The ME range will come as a UHD platform at 43, 50, 55 inch, which is what we're demoing here on the stand today, and 65 inch display. One of the great features why we have this on a cantilever bracket, it's also our first platform that now embeds our new Intel smart device module embedded compute solution. So smart device module or SDML, because it comes in two formats, will embed directly into the display and allow us to drive better quality graphics and higher resolutions through the displays. And this is all in line with the screen now becoming a UHD platform and we're moving away from HD. We also have two other products in the range, as you can see from the presentation. In the message series, the ME, which is Message Essential, in August of 2020. We'll launch the M series, which is Message, in October 2020. And we'll also launch the MA, which is Message Advance, in January 2021. We're going to continue through the booth into one of our one of my favorite sectors. Uh, and whilst I continue to work at uh, focusing on our collaboration technologies, we're into the collaboration workspace. So here this year, we've actually launched uh, two new features. The first one is, this is our new NEC branded uh, user interface powered by Quick Launch. Quick Launch is a product set from UC Workspace and it's given us the ability to make a very personal, customized solution for our customers that are looking to take their advanced collaboration solutions to the next level. Also launched this year, powered by UC Workspace, is the new NEC uh, room management service, which is a cloud-based portal which allows you to triage the health, the usage, the availability of your entire estate from a single platform. If you need more information on this, you can visit the NEC stand anytime now on Friday where UC Workspace will be delivering presentations throughout the course of the day. Or you can go and search ucworkspace.com and look for UC Central and then NEC powered by UC Central. We're just going to step off the booth now quickly, Scott, so uh, mind on the tables, because uh, we're going to go out and see our new 3.9mm uh, LED, which we have focused directly above the stand. <coughs> So this is our new 3.9 mil product. We've had a lot of customers looking at this with uh, huge interest, uh, and I really see this being a powerful product for our LED portfolio this year and beyond. We have a one x three video wall array with our flagship UN552S video wall panel. Uh, so this is a great uh, panel for us now in environments where customers want to remove the bezel and they not necessarily have the affordability to move it into a seamless solution like an LED panel. If I take opposite, we have our new open modular platform. So we're working with a number of partners to interact directly with their CMS platforms. So throughout the course of the show this week, we're being supported by Signage OS with an open source CMS, which is talking to our modular hardware. So we have our compute module powered by Raspberry Pi. We have our legacy OPS solution, and I've already introduced through this video, our new Intel SDM uh, embedded compute solution. So it's the ability to show that we have modular hardware, but it's also hardware agnostic. <coughs> We're going to continue through to the booth um, to show another one of our new products, which is our new M series. This is our M491 display in a portrait format. So we have the new M series. So the message series will come as an availability of 43, 49, 
55 and 65 inch UHD display. This is gonna be shipping around October 2020. We also have our brand new V554Q PCAP. So this is projective capacitive touch display, which can be used in a landscape, portrait, face-up application. And you'll see this in the 65 inch version in a table solution as we continue through the booth. This is a UHD platform display. And as I mentioned, it's a toughened glass. So this is great for applications where you've got multidiscipline customers. Maybe you've got uh, environments where you've got to start looking at object recognition, where we've got software partners that will also give you that as a solution and a feature. But this area has actually been used for our Hyperwall solution. So we have two NEC V754Q displays showing outputs from the Hyperwall platform management. This is our software solution designed for mission critical applications, command control rooms, NOx, or any other operation center. But we have got a lot of customers in the last couple of years which have started to look at cleverer ways of deploying this. So we have some universities that are using this as uh, campus-wide uh, information platforms for their students, which also incorporates digital signage solution. So we are demonstrating version seven, which will launch later this year. Please feel free to contact me. I mentioned about the V554Q PCAP. So here's our new 654Q PCAP as a table operation. And through this, we're actually working with our partner, iFactor, that's E-Y-E Factor. And they're doing all of the content with object recognition. This has been one of our most popular products that we've had on show at the stand. And through the stand tours, I mean, quite literally, we are 15, 20 people deep having product demonstrations all day. <laughs> Another particular favorite of mine is our new P605 UL projector. Uh, this is claimed to be as quiet as a ticking watch. So this is a 6,000 ounce lumen WXJ single chip DLP projector. This is our a, uh, increase to the family of products that we shipped last year, which is the P525UL, which won us an industry award at ISC 2019, uh, and also has won several other accolades within the industry since. One big uh, partnership that we've uh, exploited in the last 12 months is AV over IP solutions. So this year we actually have four solutions on show. We have our relationship alliance with Crestron. So there's an NEC display with a Crestron MVX D80 uh, OPS unit installed in the back of the screen. This allows customers now to deploy an NEC display with a Crestron endpoint in the screen. Single power, single data, and full resilience across that for mass deployments. A new feature that we have this year is our NDI solution with our Australian partner, Bird Dog, and partnering with NewTek. So NDI is a network device interface standard, which is great for uh, broadcast environments. Uh, it operates on an announcement for a Bonjour network. And this is gonna be something we're gonna see a lot more developing going forward. And I think we'll also see a lot of other industry partners start to, re to view NDI as a solution and a platform for future deployments. We also have on the show our triple play integration with the Brightsign OPS inside an NEC display and we also have Matrox. Matrox is also embedded as a solution into the display. We also have three new projectors and which is where we're going to manage to finish on the stand uh, which have launched at the show this year. So all of these projectors are operational on the stand so we have the P506QL. So it's a 5,000 anti lumen UHD projector, which really does hit a sweet spot for NEC for our enterprise customer meeting rooms. Staying into our large fixed installation environments, we have our new PA1004UL, which is a 10,000 anti lumen unit WXGA resolution. And then below it is our new PX2000UL. <coughs> this is a 20,000 anti lumen single chip RB laser projector. We've had so much interest on this at the show this, uh, this week, and we have a lot of customers, specifically in the UK, that are now looking to get demonstrations with our partners in the region. So I've got big expectations for this project, and I really do think it's gonna help complement our projector lineup. And then the final one is an environment where we're talking about connected workspaces. So we have two 75-inch infinity boards side by side, showing the ability to integrate video and connected workspaces with one of our partners, which is Hoilu. Uh, Hoilu is all working in Six Sigma Scrum management. So they've got a number of applications that work together in the suite of products. So they have Flow, which we hear here. We have Paper, we have Sketch. And all of these applications are designed to make the experience with the customer so much easier and intuitive in use. So if you need any further information, you can visit us at www.nec-display-solutions.com. Orchestrating a brighter world, NEC.